What's up guys, it's Alex here, and this is the game that a lot of you have been waiting on, and of course it waits until the last day of the first round games. We have number one Baylor versus number 16 Hartford. This is the last game of Baylor's region right there. We had two upsets in this region, Winthrop over Villanova, and then Virginia Tech over Florida, which neither happened in real life, <laughs> but oh well. But here we go. This one should be an absolute murder, but you never know. We had two one seeds lose in the 2020 tournament simulation. Baylor is a lot of people's pick to win the national championship. Will they move on here? Let's find out. The winner of this game will go on to face North Carolina in the second round. Starting lineups here for Hartford, the 16 seed, their first ever appearance. Then we have Davion Mitchell, Jared Butler, Macy Oteague, Flagler, and Vital. Those are what both teams need to do in order to win this game. Number one, Baylor. Number 16, Hartford. Here we go. Let's tip it off here in the Carrier Dome. Flagler able to get Baylor... The tip here. Teague with it. Looking down low. Almost turns it over. And he does turn it over. Maybe Hartford can somehow come up with the huge upset. Looking down low. But Hartford turns it over as well. Man, both teams being sloppy here to open up this game. A fadeaway three for Mitchell, and he gets it to go. Splash. I don't know why he shot that, but, I mean, it went in to give Baylor the 3-0 lead here early on. Looking over in the corner. And a foul called. Scott Drew loving what he's seeing from his Baylor Bears. DJ Mitchell here at the line with the afro. Last year in my 2020 tournament simulation, Baylor was able to make it to the Final Four where they eventually lost to Oklahoma. Well, they have a similar path here in the 2021 tournament simulation. Knock down that one. Getting trapped in the backcourt, though. Able to cross the half-court line. We have Jared Butler with the ball. We're going to use the pick and roll over in the corner. Looking down low to Vital. A little post move there. Able to get it to go. Okay. There you go, Mark Vital. Hartford trying to figure out what they want to do here. Looking down low. Contact, no foul called. Baylor able to snag the rebound there. I think that was Flagler who got it. Macy O.T. with it currently. Looking down low, bad pass though. Gets stolen by Hartford. Luckily they're playing Hartford, but Baylor is being very sloppy here early on. Looking down low, Hartford. Nice little post move for them as well, and they just easily lay it in. Only two minutes into this game, but Hartford trying to stick with Baylor. Looking down low, Vital with it. Little reverse layup gets rejected, but Baylor heading to the line now. Adam Flagler, Valon Miroslav. I can't, didn't see his last name there. Mathematics major for Flagler. Misses the first free throw, though. Knocks down the second one, though, to give them the 6-3 to three lead. Now they're bringing the backcourt pressure, but Hartford able to escape it. Not really struggling at all with it.
Fade it away. Able to get it to go. Six to five now. Baylor likes to play up tempo. Hartford plays the balance style. Hartford only down by one here. They're going to use the pick and roll. Mitchell able to get by. Finds, I think that was Butler down low. And he's able to knock it down. Baylor moving it around. Good ball movement. Oh, but a turnover as soon as I say good ball movement. Scott Drew wants them to win these last two minutes. Looking down low, able to find Vital, who is able to put it in. Good play there for Baylor. Getting double teamed, able to find his man down low, and he's able to put it in. 10 to 7 now. Baylor's lead, but Hartford trying to stick with him. Butler with it for three. Splash! Well, maybe Harper won't be able to keep up with Baylor. <laughs> both teams only missing one shot in the game. Good shooting for both of them. Contact there, though. That's probably a missed shot. But he gets the offensive rebound, and he's able to put it back in. I mean, Harper having a pretty good first half here. Maybe they're just having a slightly better one. Over to Flagler, contact, and one. Flagler having a pretty good game here. Another foul on Stoffel. Three points, one on one shooting. Oh, I guess that was his only <laughs> main basket. Knocks down the free throw. About 45 seconds to go here in the first half. Baylor up 16 to nine now. They get it down low and able to get it to go. I mean, Hartford with 11 points in the first half. If Baylor can go cold in the second half, I mean, you never know. Pass over to Flagler, able to get it to go though. Baylor still only missing one shot in this game. 15 seconds to go in the first half. Looking down low. Baylor almost able to get the steal. Hartford hangs on to it, though. They get that layup to fall. Baylor's not going to be able to get a shot off. So we head into halftime with Baylor up 18-13. to 13. Pretty good game so far. Eighty-eight. I mean, look at the shooting for both of these two teams. 88% for Baylor, 75% for Hartford. Stoffel not doing a good job of staying out of foul trouble for Hartford. Both teams with eight shots in the game. Baylor's already scored more than probably half of the teams in this tournament just in the first half alone. Marks and Flagler are leading the way for their teams in scoring with six points apiece and leading the way in rebounds as well. Man, Marks really doing a good job for Hartford. Rises, fires, not able to connect though. Maybe the hot shooting for Hartford is going to come to an end here in the second half. Butler for three, not able to connect. Looking down low here. Rises, fires. Oh, that was a bad shot. That looked bad as soon as he released it. Their coach saying they're doing a horrible job with the ball reversals. Looking down low, they find Flagler. who hits the bottom of the rim, but he comes up with his own rebound. And he puts it back in. So eight points for him this game. 20 to 13 now. Fading away gets, Baylor's able to get a hand on it, but it won't matter. 20 to 13 here, Macy O.T. with the ball.
Looking down low, back to T. Good ball movement by everybody there. 22 to 13 now. Baylor starting to pull away from Hartford. Scott Drew loving what he's seeing. He wants them to keep going inside. Looking down low, and Baylor able to come up with the steal again. Mitchell with the ball currently. Harper knocks it loose. Baylor able to hang on to it, though. Vital comes up with it. And <laughs> let him in. He turns it right back over. Hartford able to come up with it. Hartford hasn't scored in the last two minutes, and they still won't score on that possession. Good pass contact. Able to get his own rebound, though. I think that's Mitchell down there. Oh, nope. It was Jared Butler. Able to give Baylor the double-digit lead now, 24-13, man. Scott Drew still loving what he's seeing from his Baylor Bears. Hartford has not scored here in the second half. Marks with it currently. Over in the corner. Taking a while on this possession. I mean, you're down by 11 with 2.20 to go in the game. you got to be hurrying. Shot clock down to six. And a turnover. That Man, that was an awful possession for Hartford. Mitchell with a little spin move finding Vital. Who is able to get it to fall? Baylor on an 8-0 run here in the second half. 26-13, man. Honestly surprised Hartford hasn't called a timeout. Marks with it. Fading away. Not able to connect. They come up with the offensive rebound, though. Contact. No foul calls. So Hartford still has not scored here in the second half. Baylor fans already breaking out the warm the bus chance. Not even in the final minute of the game. They know it's over. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's over for three. Splash! Baylor now with a 16-point lead. Hartford takes a timeout. All right, coming out of the timeout here. A minute and a half to go. Both teams made substitutions. They shoot the three. Not able to connect, though. 120 to go in this game. This one's over, man. Hartford did not score here in the second half. Baylor on an 11-0 run because of it. Looking like Baylor will be facing North Carolina in the next round, which, I mean, North Carolina got destroyed by Wisconsin in real life. But Baylor comes up with the rejection right there. Hartford was six to, or six for eight in the first half, 0 for eight here in the second half. Baylor with it there. We're just counting down the seconds now. Just trying to milk that clock and bring us home. They shoot the three and they call the foul on the three. Okay, Tracy Carter. He was just frustrated. Knocks down the first one. I think that's the first foul on a three we've had this tournament. It took almost the entire first round. Knocks down the second one. And he knocks down the third one as well. So it is now 32 to 13 here. Crowd chanting defense. And Hartford finally gets a basket on probably their last offensive possession in the second half. Man, Baylor outscoring them 14 to 2 here in the second half. Looking down low. I was like, don't don't shoot that. You got to pay some respect to Harper there. They fought hard in the first half. Wouldn't say so much here in the second half. Oh, they shoot it, though. Not able to come up with it. So Baylor just absolutely destroys Hartford here. 32 to 15, not a struggle at all. Hartford. I mean, they made it to their first ever NCAA tournament, so I mean, congratulations to them. But they ran into the buzzsaw that was Baylor in this game. 
Scott Drew dapping up the Hartford coach. So number one, Baylor will be advancing to face number eight, North Carolina, here in this NCAA tournament simulation. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.